So the goal here is going to be take these excess sites that I've been sent by excess sites and get them put on the back of my SIG P320 hybrid, compact carry hybrid. That should make it a little bit better, huh? So I'm here at Ace Firearms getting sights installed for the excess sight experiment. You got to come to where the, where the parts are, where the tools are, where the people that know how to put them on are. I am none of those and have none of those. So welcome back. Most of the handguns that I carry, well, any handgun that I carry is going to be a defensive handgun. It's going to be a fighting handgun. It's going to be a handgun designed purely to engage in a defensive light. And to that end, I tried to set them up that way. Now, I recently was approached by a company called XS Sights. Now, XS Sights manufactures the fastest sights in any light. From concept and design to creation, XS utilizes tritium, photoluminescent materials, and 20 plus years of manufacturing expertise to create highly visible and durable sights for personal defense, military, and hunting applications. So, what I have here is a six hour P320 carry with a Wilson Combat lower and a set of XS DXT2 big dots. Now, this is basically a luminescent line with a big dot on the front. And what you're going to try to do is dot the eye. That's all you're going to try to do. Now, XS DXT2 big dot sights offer the best front sight visibility in any and all lighting conditions. DXT2 big dot sights drive focus to the front sight using a high contrast front and a V-notch rear for an unobstructed view of the front sight. DXT2 big dot front sights use the ember glow dot that absorbs light and glows in low light levels before it is dark enough to see the tritium. The dot the eye sight picture prevents confusing the front and rear sights in high stress situations. It comes available in uh, optic yellow or optic orange colors. We're going to get right back to that technical stuff in just a second. Very, very important stuff, that technical stuff. But hey, it doesn't tell the whole story, I think, about why you would want to choose excess big dot sites. Now, the DXT2 site addresses a bunch of issues for me. A bunch of issues. Uh, mainly a fast site acquisition. Now, I don't know about you. Uh, I do train and I do shoot with an idea that I need to be uh, accurate. And I do train that way. As a matter of fact, uh, I train two different ways. I train for accuracy, and then I train for acceptable combat accuracy. And for me, combat speed, combat accuracy is how many shots can I get on target in the fastest amount of time available from the draw, okay? So if you're going to set up a gun, if you're going to take the time to set up a gun for a self-defense carry, then I think it is paramount upon you to do a few things. To make sure the gun itself is optimized for your grip, for, for, for the best way you can grip it. To uh, make sure that trigger, that trigger works for you. And then the, the last piece. How are you going to see the target? How are you going to acquire the target? In this, in this, this is where XS wins this one for me. Ends the argument altogether. Uh, James Jaeger for years, I am a, you can probably see it right over there. That's my fighting pistol uh, diploma from Tactical Response. He's been a big exponent for excess big dots. I've never tried them. I've never tried them before this. So, but don't take my word for it. Uh, there was some, 
getting used to it, period, and everything, but I've never shot as accurately in a solid string with any other sight before this one. And, hey, let's take it to the range and see what we see. And then we'll get back to that technical stuff. It's like I said, that's really important. They feel like their mission at Big Dot, or at XS, is to drive focus to the front sight for fast and accurate defensive shooting. The Big Dots measure .188 inches, or 4.8 millimeters wide, making them the biggest front sight in the market. The increased surface area makes the dot brighter in daylight and low light. The Express Sight System is built for fast front sight acquisition, but they also help with eyesight issues. As we age, the eyesight degrades. The big dot is 50% larger than most conventional sights, which reduces strain on the eyes. The combination of a big front sight, open rear, and in the line sight alignment can help overcome cross eye dominance, near or far sighted vision, and cataracts. All of these uh, excess night sights are CNC machined from steel bar stock in the great state of Texas. The steel construction ensures the sights are protected from drops Racking off of a barricade, they're going to hold it for years. Steel surface is blue to resist rusting and a re regular cleaning with oil schedule. Big dots are chemically resistant to acetone-based cleaning solutions and ultrasonic cleaners. The convex dot is gunpowder residue resistant and can be easily wiped off with a cleaning cloth. For carry, big dots have no sharp edges and will not get caught on clothing while drawing the pistol from concealment. While most big front sight still fits in most holsters. They are designed to be installed with the file to fit method. And they have videos demonstrating that method on their installation page or on their YouTube channel. Sight pusher tools can damage the sight so they're oversized to compensate for dovetail variants. It's better to be too tight versus too loose. They supply all specialty tools in their packaging, including a Glock front sight screwdriver and a thread locker. So, in closing, going forward on my guns that are not going to have an optic on them, they're probably going to have excess big dots. Simply because it's just so fast and I carry a gun for self-defense to have options in a self-defense situation and I want to optimize my options period period check them out they're called excess sites we're going to be back before you know it and I want you to take this away with you keep this in your head it's never been about gun control not once not ever. It has been. And it's always going to be about total control. I'll catch you the next time. This has been Lock and Load.